Happy birthday, Lawrence. Happy birthday, Papa. Happy birthday, Papa. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. I sure love you. I still remember the day in, on March 22nd, 1960, when our mother told me it was time. Dad didn't happen to be there then, and it was time to go to the hospital so she could deliver you. And uh, I remember that drive, I remember going to the hospital. I remember that I had an event that evening. It had something to do with seminary, a party or graduation, something I had to go to. Dad was able to be there. And uh, so by the time the evening was over, I had the news that you were, you were in this world and what a great gift you've been ever since that happened. Happy birthday, Dad. I hope you have the best day ever. I just wanted to tell you some of my favorite memories of you growing up. And I feel like us kids just had the best, most happy childhood because of you and mom and the way you raised us. And I, one of my favorite things was being torture tickled by you because it would make me laugh so hard and I just loved to laugh. I loved to laugh so much and so I can remember I would just beg you to torture tickle me every time I came home from like school or dance or when you would get home from work. I just loved teasing you or like just trying to do anything I could to get you to chase me down and torture tickle me. The thing I love most about dad is that he's always willing to serve others and he has raised all of us to be willing to go the extra mile and help somebody out. Thanks for getting me that bowl and arrow for Christmas. I love you, happy birthday. I hope that you have the best day ever. I love you so much and I'm so very grateful that I have you as my dad and as a grandpa for my kids. You are the most selfless person that I know. Um, you're such a good example to me of humility, kindness, and unconditional love. Growing up, there was never a single time that I questioned or doubted your love because it was always just so constant and so unconditional. I want to thank you for being such an awesome example to me. You've kind of been my North Star in my adult life for sure and, and in my, in, even in my childhood, but more so I think as I've grown older, I've tried to pattern my life on things that you've done and things that you do and um, has been extremely helpful for me to watch you and watch you be successful with relationships and work and callings and um, you're, you're a great strong example and in everything. Lawrence, I just have to tell you what a wonderful person I think you are. You mean the world to me and I love you so much. I'm not sure where I would be in this world without you, but I know I wouldn't be where I'm at. I'm so grateful to you. I've heard it said before that preparation precedes performance. And you are one of the most prepared people that I know. You're always thinking ahead, always planning, always making life better for everybody around you. You take such good care of all of us, and I'm so in love with you. I'm so grateful. You're everything to me. I love you, Grandpa. He says, I love you, Grandpa. Happy birthday, Grandpa. I love you. You're so fun. We truly, I think as an entire family, but also just as a couple, me and Mandy and a family, wouldn't be where we are today without you. You really have given so much of yourself for everyone. Hi, Lawrence and Trudy and kids. Hey, um, I was remembering back when I was a teenager and I would get really stressed out about things and guess who was always there to help me? You. Remember when my cat got stuck way up in the high tree? It's actually on a pole on the top of a 20 foot pole for three days and I couldn't find it, but I kept thinking in the middle of the night I could hear it and it was stressing me out so bad and I knew it was alive and I needed to find it. And then when I found it, you were the one that went and helped me get the giant ladder from the school, carry it all the way to the house, climb up, get my little almost dead kitten down. And it got chased up there by that big black dog named Josh. Thanks, Dennis and Jeanette. And anyway, I was thinking about that and 
it's the exact same now. I think if I ever really, really needed you, if I were in a bind, I know that you would do anything in the world to help me. And it makes me feel so good. And that is why I really, really love you. And I hope you have a wonderful birthday. That you were so good at just having fun with your kids and giving us such good, happy memories for our childhood. I have so many memories like that of being in our backyard, playing hide and go seek or tag or capture the flag and you are always out there with us playing. And I love that so much and I wanna be just like that as a parent. I wanna be how you were and you were just so involved and so loving. And you worked very hard and I've always admired you for what you were able to do and what you were able to accomplish and what you had to, to do to get there. Uh, I salute you for that and what you've been able to accomplish through hard work, your work ethic and, and your, your accomplishments. Thanks for being such a good grandpa and thank you for taking me on a car ride uh, in that race car. Uh, bye. One of my favorite memories with dad is simple. It was at our old house in downtown Ogden. Just he and I were outside and we found some rhubarb growing. So dad sat me down right there in the dirt on his lap. Then we just ate it and chatted and it was peaceful. I was thinking how interesting it is that of all the incredible, amazing things we've done, one of my favorite memories didn't cost anything. The other day, a grandpa was talking about how he had a house that was five stories high and every room was filled with endless fun and that they turned the grandkids loose and only see them when they need to eat. And I thought how sad that was because only 20 minutes earlier, I had looked out the window at dad, pushing the grandkids on the swings, then moving him to the tramp. Then he came in with a toddler, got down on his hands and knees and changed her diaper, went into the other room and played dinosaurs with Rocky for a long time. I'm just so glad that we have a dad that understands that some things in life cannot be bought. And those are human relationships, that those just take time. It's so easy to buy something for someone, but giving them your full attention is much harder and much, much more meaningful. And those are the things that'll last. I'm so glad that you understand that, Dad. I have so many amazing memories with you, but one that I will cherish my entire life is um, having the opportunity to work with you. You are the best dentist and dad in the whole wide world, and I love having our lunches together and being able to chat in between patients. I I really do cherish that time that we have together. It's because of you that, you know, Mandy and I are here today. You guys have endlessly, so many times, gotten us out of ruts we've been in. And, and you know, just so many situations where I felt like there was no hope and and then, you know, you step forward and offer your love and your help and I mean I don't know how we could ever repay you for all you've done for us. Happy birthday. Yeah. Say, I love you. Happy love you. Say you're the best. I'm the best. Lawrence, you're that type of person that makes everyone feel special. You know how to make everyone feel like a million bucks. Right now, you're out washing my car. You're just amazing. This family is blessed to have you. I'm so grateful for you. Hey, Lawrence, just wanted to chime in and tell you happy birthday. Um, I'm super, super thankful to have an awesome father and not like you. Chance just wanted to have an opportunity to wish Lawrence happy birthday as well. He wants me to tell Lawrence, thank you for being the best dog owner ever. You'll have to excuse him, he's a little tired right now. We've been on a two hour walk, he's panting just a bit. But thanks for always loving on him and taking him on long walks and just being the best dog owner ever. And Chance wants to say happy birthday, Lawrence. Hi Lawrence, happy birthday. I want you to know that I am so grateful for you and I'm so grateful to be part of your family. And you are so incredibly Christ-like and thoughtful and caring and giving and you always worry about what other people need and what they want um and more before you even worry about yourself hi papa i love you hi papa mom loves you i spent a lot of time thinking about uh different things from our childhood from our adulthood the last two days and i just have so many fun memories I remember the day that mother and dad brought you home from the hospital and I remember the first time that they wrapped you in a blanket and laid you in my arms and I was sitting on in mother and dad's bedroom and I've never gotten over that.
excitement and that joy of that day of you coming into my life. Uh, you have been the best brother. I was also thinking a lot of my childhood memories that are my favorite don't actually include dad. Things like playing in the softest sand in the world in our sandbox in the backyard or playing imagination in our amazing playhouse for hours. Now that I'm a parent, I understand all of those happy memories. We had so much behind the scene works from dad. He was out there the day before tilling the sandbox and he built the playhouse and then he put carpet and electricity in it to make it more comfortable for us. And so every happy childhood memory I have Dad was behind the scenes working his butt off for it. I remember after my solo practices or duet practices both, you would come in with a check after a long day of work and give it to my dance teacher. And I can remember looking at you giving her that check like he is sacrificing so much to let me do dance. Like I know he doesn't spend any money on himself. himself. And you didn't, you didn't spend any money on yourself, but you spent so much money on your kids and what your kids loved. And dance was my passion and I'm so thankful that you did that. That you did that for me because it was, it made me so happy. But I can remember feeling that as a young girl thinking, wow, my dad is sacrificing so much to let me dance. And I was so thankful and I'm, I'm still, I'm still so thankful. And that's just how you are as a person in your life. You're like that today. You've been like that ever since I can remember. Hey, Lawrence. So I know that we're not really, I'm not part of the family, so to speak. But the fact that you've been so willing and open to accept, accept me into the family just because I'm with your daughter and the kindness and acceptability that you've shown me over the past five years has meant just so incredibly much to me. It feels like I have a second family just being around, even with our differing views and different lifestyles. Still, the, the fact that I feel as if I have a second family just because of how open and accepting you are of me just means a lot. So, happy birthday. You know, it's been said that the greatest gift that one can have in this life is to be loved by someone. And Lawrence, you are truly loved by many people, starting with a beautiful wife, beautiful family, your children, your their, their spouses, your grandchildren, uh, your siblings, uh, the people in your ward, your colleagues uh, at work. They all love you, as do I. My Favorite memory too is when you push me on the swing. Lawrence, I love how selfless you are with your time. You volunteer hundreds of hours of dentistry for people that are in need and you meet their dental needs and don't charge them anything and you never say anything about it. You're the most selfless person I know and I love you so much. What I love about dad is how he pushed me to be my best, um, always. Um, how he taught us all the yard work and um, how to be able to rely on ourselves and not always have to rely on other people. And also how to be able to ask for help when you actually need it. And that's helped me through a lot of my life. My favorite thing is when you are telling a story, especially a funny story, and you're laughing too hard to, to get through it. Um, that I think is just hilarious. <laughs> I envy how selfless you are and how loving and caring you are too. Um, that's something that's really, really a great trait to have. Grandpa, I love, one of my like favorite memories are when we go and ride the motorcycle and you go on a fast speed and it's just so fun. I, and I like sitting by you on the motorcycle. Thanks for everything you've done for me and for sharing so much of your life with me. Happy birthday and the best to you. Thank you for playing with me, Papa. Lawrence, I just have to say, you bring out the best in me. You bring out the best in everyone. And marrying you was the best decision I've ever made. And I would do it over again and again and again. I love you. Happy birthday to you. Tell a button. I've got so many fun memories i think one that kind of stands out is our trip to alaska just um fishing and 
and enjoying the you know the nature just just kind of the two of us and being out there and and, and seeing how how cool that area was but just I think at the time just um, being able to just be alone and bond with with you and have that father-son time it's meant the world to me and can't wait till our next trip together I um, keep thinking about a story from our childhood from uh, a time when I was probably about oh maybe eight or nine and you were probably only about two or three and um, I had the measles and it was my birthday and um, I went to bed I wasn't terribly sick that day but I went to bed kind of early and uh, then the next day or later on mother and dad showed me pictures of that night uh, apparently after I had gone to bed um, you went into my room after I was sound asleep and you took toys and you circled my head all the way around on the pillow and you put those toys all the way around my head and uh, of course they went in and saw that and thought it was so cute that you do that that they took a picture and then showed me later but it struck me um, of what a sweet thing for a two or three year year old to do and what two or three year old would do that but you would and I've thought about all the times in my life and countless others that you have encircled those people with love and caring and kindness like you did that night for me. I'm always so proud to tell everybody that you're my dad because everybody loves Lawrence Palmer and you're just the most kind and generous person and I try every day to be more like you. Hey Lawrence, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I hope it's been amazing and wanted to tell you how much I look up to you. When I think of the word Christ-like, I really put you right there. Always giving more of yourself than other people and always being so kind and being a listening ear. Hey dad, happy birthday. I love you. Um, you always have the family's best interests in mind. Like whether that is taking us on a Disney trip and spending a, some money on us, like we really appreciate it and just everything you do for us. You helped me get a new car and I wouldn't have done that without your motivation. Um, thank you, happy birthday, I love you. Hi grandpa, I, I love you so much. Thank you for being my grandpa. I'm so glad I came into this family. I'm so glad you're just such the best grandpa. You like, even when it's hard like, that you put that net up when, just for the grandkids that they wouldn't fall off the train, even when it was so hard. And now he wanted to even change the yard for them. That's a lot of money. That's just so we can be happy. I really, bye. I just think that without you, we would be lost. And I love the relationship that um, our kids have with you. And they just love you so much. You're amazing and I'm so grateful for you and I hope you have an awesome birthday. Well, I am so much thankful for being with the dinosaurs with you and toys with you and grass and dinosaurs with you and you, Grandma. I love you so much. Also want to say just how much of a hard worker you are and it's been an inspiration to me of how to take care of a family, how to work hard and never complain about it. I love our chats about everything under the sun with politics, BYU football, the jazz. You really have been the best father-in-law I could ever ask for. And I hope you have the most amazing birthday. I admire you a lot and I look up to you and I just love you so very much. Hope you have a wonderful day and a perfect birthday because that's just how I think of you is the perfect person. So thank you and I love you and happy birthday again. Thank you for everything. I love you so much. I hope you have a good day. And, um, and uh, I hope we create many more memories together. Love you. And you are just amazing. I hope you have the best birthday ever. Love you. My life has forever been changed because of you. And I want you to know I love you and hope you have a wonderful birthday. We're all so lucky to have you as our example and our best friend and someone who's always been there for us and we love you so much and we hope today is so special. Love you dad. You're my favorite grandpa. Bye. I love you so much and I hope you have the best day. I love you grandpa. You're the best. Bless you.
And I'm so grateful for you, Dad. And I love you so much. Happy birthday. Love you, Papa. Say, have a good day. Have a good day. Bye.